Hey there guys, do you want to know how to create your own educational YouTube channel? Well, you are in luck because today we will be giving you tips on how to properly conceptualize your educational YouTube channel. But before we do that guys, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, and gong that bell. Hey Freedom, my name is Nolden. Welcome to Freedom Central, the home of all freedom content. As I said a while ago, we will be giving you tips on how to conceptualize your educational YouTube channel. So if you haven't been visiting the Creator Academy, I suggest that you do guys. There's a lot of information you can use on those courses. So enough of the chit chat guys, let's get on to the episode on Freedom Quick Tips. Let me tell you this guys, I really respect people who make videos about educational topics. Find it very noble because the people who are actually making videos about it are experts and it shows us that they want to help out other people as well. So it's something I respect very much. If you are one of those people and you are here in this video because you want to teach other people by making videos about it, well guys, I respect you so much. Don't worry because I got you covered. I will be teaching you guys how to conceptualize your own YouTube channel for educational videos. The things that I will be sharing to you guys are just guides so you can tweak them as much as you can. We have our own reasons on why we want to make videos and on this case educational videos and whatever those reasons may be, you should have a firm grasp on why you are doing it. So right now guys, I know that you have your own objectives, but do you have any idea on what kind of genre you will be creating videos with? If you haven't the slightest clue guys, don't worry because I've got you covered, I will be giving you ideas on what kind of genre you can prepare. Number one is edutainment. Yep, edutainment. <laughs> edutainment content is a mixture of education and also entertainment. This is one of the things that you can see on the internet. You deliver a very informative video but you manage to keep your viewers wanting more. Look at the Critical Role channel and one of their series is called Handbooker Helper. It is a YouTube video that is very educational as it is a series where they teach new and recurring players about the elements in the game. That is a perfect example of an edutainment kind of content. If you're starting out, it's one of the perfect contents you can start out with. Number two is straightforward educational videos. These are the videos you can see that tackles about school lectures. Typically, you can see these kinds of videos that helps you solve your math problems, your chemistry problems, and other things. If you are really good in very technical subjects like physics, biology, chemistry, mathematics, statistics, and other subjects, I recommend that you try out this kind of content. You will be surprised that there is actually a ton of people watching those kinds of content. I watch those kinds of content if I am having trouble with mathematics. Number three, skill-based videos. These videos are tutorial or educational materials that help you out with certain types of skills. For example, how to paint, how to be more effective at work. It doesn't necessarily need to be a tutorial video that can be really technical in a certain level. If you are really good in physical and technical skills, you can actually make a video that teaches these kinds of things to people. I would love to see videos that talks about how to make a backflip or a double backflip if that is possible. Now that you have ideas on what kind of genres you can do, you can tweak them out to your heart's content and find the most suitable genre to fit your style. Now let's talk about the things that you need to brainstorm with yourself or with your friends so that you can see clearly what your channel is all about. Number one is your audience. So you have to think about the audience that you want to make videos for. What kind of people are you targeting? Uh, do you want to target people who are content creators such as yourself? What are usually some of the things that they are doing wrong and what can you contribute to make it easier for them? You need to constantly research your audience so that you can efficiently make videos that will help them in the long run. Number two is content. So let's face it, the kind of content that you're making right now, there's actually a pre-existing one. Question is now, what can you do to add more value to the existing video? If you can come up with something that will entirely solve the problem or better yet, make it completely easy for the people, then it's something that people would love to watch. Number three, prior knowledge. This is one of the things you will need to bank up on because you have to ask yourself first if you are an expert in that kind of topic. If you are, it will be easier for you to make content around the topic of your expertise. For example, if you are a really good skater, you can bank on that skill. It doesn't matter if you're an expert or not because people who see people doing something very efficiently, they want to learn that. Number four, learn along your audience. Kind of like what Creator Insider is doing, they provide a lot of videos where they interview people who are experts in the field of YouTube. If you know a ton of people who are experts in the topics that you want to make, then maybe you can bank on that as well. Number five is branding. This is important because if you want to have a voice in this clutter world of YouTube, you will need to think about your branding as well. So let me ask you guys, what kind of branding will you be making for your own YouTube channel? Will it be a witty but on point kind of brand? Maybe a brand that is endearing and does not beat around the bush. It's something that you and your friends must talk about and decide on. Number six is sustainability. Making content is easy. Uh, the part that is hard is sustaining the content. It's one of the things you need to consider and talk about if you can 
can't make content that will last a long, long time. If right off the bat or through conceptualizing your YouTube channel, if you can think about a hundred topics on that kind of content, then in the long run, that will affect you. You want to know why? Because if you can think about a hundred topics on that kind of content, that means that your content will be limited. And that's the episode, guys. I hope you guys learned something on how to conceptualize your own YouTube educational channel. If you guys have other tips for us that can help us out on how to efficiently make YouTube videos for educational purposes, let us know down below. Also, guys, if you have a friend who wants to make educational videos on YouTube but does not know where to start, you can always share this to them so that you can help them out. Before you leave, guys, please leave a like, subscribe, and gong that bell. My name is Nold, guys, bringing you tips on how to grow your channel. Always remember, freedom, quick tips. I'll be seeing you guys on the next episode. Goodbye.